Al Gore, everyone's favorite failed presidential candidate turned pseudo-scientist, is at it again. After a political career that probably didn't pan out quite the way Gore had hoped, he transitioned to being an ally for the environment. His 2006 film, An Inconvenient Truth, documented what Gore believed were the dangers of the man-made impact on the climate and environment. The film was instantly divisive, with many decrying the science and one-sided political views of the film. Despite some of the pushback on his film, it didn't stop Gore from releasing a sequel to his film in 2017. Today, Gore is once again trying to push his agenda in the wake of the devastating effects of Hurricane Florence, which drenched the Carolinas over the weekend. According to the Washington Times, Gore spoke at the Global Climate Action Summit in San Francisco on Friday and spoke about the historic implications of Florence's landfall. This is the first time in history that two major storms are making landfall from the Atlantic and the Pacific simultaneously, Gore said, also referencing Super Typhoon Mankit, which hit the Philippines on Saturday. Gore hammered home the point that the historic simultaneous landfalls of two major storms was proof positive that climate change was spurring extreme weather. There was just one tiny problem with Gore's bombastic claims. Some scientists outright called him a liar about the historical nature of the storm's respective landfalls. Ryan Maui, whose Twitter bio reads that he's a meteorology PhD, instantly blasted Gore for his remarks. Al Gore just fraudulently claimed without any evidence that we've never had hurricanes in both the Atlantic and Pacific making landfall at same time, Maui wrote. He also alluded to a botched NBC News article. Maui seems to be referring to this NBC News article that references Colorado State University meteorologist Phil Klotzbach as a citation, but even Klotzbach didn't seem eager to call it unprecedented. The thing that's interesting now is the Pacific is still active, but the Atlantic is very active, which isn't normal, Klotzbach said to NBC. I'm surprised to see the Pacific and Atlantic active at the same time, but that statement is couched by the article, which also claims that simultaneous landfalls happened to a lesser extent in 2016. Maui isn't the only scientist who took issue with Gore. Such statements show that he is not familiar with the history of tropical cyclone landfalls. University of Colorado Boulder meteorologist Roger A. Peelk Sr. told the Washington Times via email. At this point, it might be safe to say that Gore may not be familiar with the history of much at all. But when it comes to pushing the climate change narrative, Gore has never been one to worry about double-checking his facts. <laughs>